Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, back today with another tutorial. And today, what I'm going to show you is another technique of how to convert images into mesh. Now I just released a brand new course, which you can find linked down below, along with all my other courses. In that course, we create a scene with a mixture of Photoshop and Blender. The techniques I'll show you there are based on what I would like to show you today, but the course obviously goes into a lot more depth and a lot more detail. In that course, we create a beautiful stained glass window along with some ornate hinges to really create a fantasy looking door. Oh, and I also show you how to blend it all together to bring some realism to your render. So with all that said, let's get started and head on over to Photoshop. And here you'll find an image of an old tutorial I did a while ago now. And to be honest, this tutorial is like Marmite. Either people love it or they hate it. So what we did in that tutorial is take the dolphin image and turn it into mesh using the knife key. I'm going to show you another technique, but this one is a lot more versatile. So the first thing you want to do is bring in the image, then bring in a new layer. Make sure that you're on a uh, brush and just make sure that the brush is on um, hard. So not soft on hard. And then also I tend to turn up my uh, smoothing up to around about 90, something like that before I start just to make it easy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to come to my layer. I'm going to turn down the opacity just a little bit, just to make it a little bit easier so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to draw around my dolphin like so, going all the way around like so. And if you look at the dolphin, it's got some uh, quite fine parts on the tail. So I'm just going to try and make sure I can get those in as well. And also they've got a gap there. And what I want to make sure is that all of the lines actually touch together because I am going to fill this in. So I'm just going to get the basic shape down just to show you exactly how this is going to work. I'm going to bring it round like so. And you can see here that I've actually got some gaps missing. So I'm just going to fill those in. And I'm also just going to make this a little bit more rounded like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my actual um, eraser brush, which is this one here. And I'm just going to erase this. And again, just make sure it's on um, hard and not soft. We'll make it more cheesier for you. I'm just going to go around like so and just make it actually look like an actual dolphin. All right, so I think I'm happy with that so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in. So I'm going to come to my bucket brush, just make sure it's on black and then come over and actually fill it in, fit it twice and that should fill it all the way up. And there we go, there's the actual dolphin outline. So now what we need to do is we need to actually convert this into something we can send out to Blender and what that's gonna be is an SVG, which is a scalable vector graphic. So what I'm gonna do first of all, I'm just gonna close this off, this image on the background, and then I'm going to come over to this icon here. And if I right click on it, you'll see, if we come down, you'll see you've got one that says quick selection. Just click that on and then what you're going to do is you're going to click drag it over your dolphin and you should end up with an outline that appears around it which then is going to make it very easy to right click make work path click ok and there we go there's the start of our path and now what we need to do is we need to convert this so let's come up to layer new fill layer solid color click ok and then click ok just make sure it's on black and then you will end up with something like this a new layer basically now this layer is ready to be exported. So just click the other layer off. Make sure this layer with this box here is actually highlighted. Come up to file. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to export and export as. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait for this uh, to load up. Come over to where it says uh, format. Yarn might be on PNG. Just make sure this is on SVG. Make sure your width and height are on 2048, something like that. The higher this is, the better image quality you're gonna get. Just make sure that's um, that high. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna click export. And then you just need to name it. So I'll just name it uh, dolphin two, as I've already got another dolphin. Okay, let that load out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go head on back over to Blender. So here we are in Blender. Let's just get rid of our camera, our cube, and our light. And then what we're going to do is, first of all, you're gonna come up to Edit, go down to Preferences. You're gonna come over to um, Add-ons, and we're gonna search for Scalable. Let's see if we can find it with that. Scalable Vector Graphics, and just make sure that's ticked on. Click Refresh, and close it down. 
Now, let's uh, bring in our dolphin. So, what we're going to do is file, import, come down to where it says scalable vector graphics. This um, option will be available now because you've turned the add on on. Click on there and then go and find where you actually put your dolphin. So, you can see mine's here, dolphin 2. Double click it and here we go. So, what I need to do first is if I scale this up with the S point, you can see it scales from the middle. And I don't really want that. So, I'm going to right click it, set origin to geometry, and now you'll see it scales up properly. So, let's scale it up first. So, S, let's spin it round with R, Z, 90, and then R, Y, 90, and it's facing the right way. And now, what we need to do is we need to extrude it out. At the moment, this is actually a curve. So if I press the tab button, you can see it's got all of these little vertices going around there. And that just shows us where the curve is. So what we need to do is we need to come over to our curve menu over here. And then all you're going to do is you're going to open up your geometry. And you're going to bring this extrude out. So bring the extrude out. And now you'll see that you've actually got some depth to it. If we put this on 0.005, it's going to be a little bit thinner, a bit easier to work with. And now we need to turn this from actual a curve into mesh. So the last thing you need to do is you need to come to object come down to where it says uh, convert mesh from curve and now you'll notice that that curves actually disappeared and there is your mesh okay everyone so i hope you enjoyed that and as i say you can find the course details down below and i hope to see you over there okay everyone thanks a lot see you on the next one bye bye